You've been given a great gift, George. A chance to see what the world would be like without you. We invade, darling. Because the British think they are so tough. They think we French are sissies. They call us weeds and whoopsies and big girls' blouses. With respect, my emperor, we are whoopsies. We invented the tapestry, the souffle, and the sweet liqueur. We will be slaughtered the minute we mince up the hill. Do not despair. It is my firm belief that God hates the British. He will intervene miraculously and send us a glorious victory on this field of Waterloo. Oh, bravo! The lovely uniform today, by the way. Oh, thank you. I think it works. Oh. 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 The French are approaching. Excellent. I have a superb plan which cannot fail but results in the complete destruction of the French army. Oh, spread it. Well, tell me at once, Your Grace, and I'll spread the news to the troops. Very well. The plan is... God, I'm brilliant. Do you know, I surprise myself sometimes. I really do. Yeah. The plan is yeah. to allow the French to come within a hundred yards of us, and then, and this is the completely original and brilliant part. Throw out your hands, take out your tush, hands on your hips, give them a push. You'll be surprised you're doing the French mistake. Voila! So, here's your 10,000 francs, and jolly well deserved to. What do you mean, francs? <laughs> what do you mean, what do I mean, francs? Surely you mean 10,000 pounds. <laughs> pounds? <laughs> we haven't used those for 200 years. Not since the Emperor Napoleon won the Battle of Waterloo. Which reminds me, it's time for us to get to the television. Monsieur le Président will be broadcasting from Versailles at any moment. Are you coming? Uh, no, I might just go on one final little trip. Oh, no, don't go. You haven't had a bite of the delicious garlic pudding. Yeah. After which, I'm going to do a petit peu de ballet. <laughs> we need your help to stop Britain from becoming France. We all hope that Boris Johnson becomes Prime Minister, but even if that occurs, we still need to pull out when the Brexit deadline comes up again. Nicolas Sarkozy may be able to burn down cathedrals in his own country in order to defeat Yellow Vest populism, but those tactics won't work where it concerns negotiations over Brexit. That's why British citizens must accept nothing less than total Brexit as voted for in the largest mandate in British political history. Anything less, and we might as well be French.